Uh, hello everyone uh, from the I guess the pseudo CDT uh, since we're doing a road walk um, it just dawned on me that <clears throat> I keep calling it the CDT but we we keep most of it's actually been off the CDT for the last what seven days so I um, let's see here uh, so today is should be day 31 it's actually 29 30 it's day 32 it's actually sunday it's sunday may 29th it's actually memorial weekend and today's hike was um again we're coming out of cuba going to chama this was day two uh more road walking uh fortunately a few miles in today's road walk it turned to dirt road um and it was dirt road most of the day it was uh, about 24 miles. You can hear music in the background. And you can hear other people talking because I'm actually at a campground. Um, because we're off the CDT, opportunities for camping um, are slim. Uh, we can stealth camp, which is essentially, you know, sneaking into a place, setting up our stuff and camping, and then getting out early. Um, but it's not the most ideal situation. So there's an RV park that, it's actually a pretty large park and it's pretty packed um, for Memorial Weekend. Um, but at the very end of the, the RV park, they allow camping. And so some CDT hikers have, um, have been able to camp here. Um, I mean, we're paying the same as a vehicle rate, so it's just basically vehicle camping, and we're just paying the rate. Uh, you can probably tell from my speech and from the look on my face, like, I'm tired. Um, we hiked late yesterday. I think we got into camp around 8, maybe a little, just a little bit before, but um, once I get into the tent and kind of settle down around 9.30 to sleep, um, the muscles in my legs... Uh, were twitching for like two hours um, and they wouldn't stop so I even took some ibuprofen that generally doesn't help but I was hoping that it might reduce either some swelling or some like pain t tweaks that I was feeling that um, either were causing the muscle spasms or at least causing me not to sleep so I think I finally fell asleep just before midnight is my guess and I was up at five to hike so I basically put my head down today and I just I slammed it um, I think I hiked 24 miles in approximately eight and a half hours I took like a lunch break that was about it um, but if you the eight and a half hours takes the lunch break out um, I took like one 10 minute break I think other than the lunch break so I um, I was near three miles per hour there all day because I just wanted to get this stuff finished. So I got to the campground around, I don't know, three. Um, and I kind of set up my tent and got some water and ate a snack and, and drank some electrolytes. And uh, I'm going to stretch, I'm going to cook, and um, I'm going to try to get into my tent early and um, hopefully even if the muscle twitches are happening they'll settle down after an hour and then I can get a solid eight or nine hours of sleep um, I will be in Chama tomorrow so I want to get an early start just to get on the, the it's another road walk and this is asphalt and the I think the last 13 or so miles is um, a busy highway so rumor has it that the um, the shoulder is wider on this on this highway so you don't feel as uncomfortable as some other roads um, so I guess we'll see tomorrow but basically my goal is to get into Chama I want to say it's what well, it was yesterday I think it was like 23 miles say it's 24 so it'll probably be like 25 or more miles tomorrow um, again almost I think it's all, all on asphalt actually so the earlier I can start, like if I'm on the road by, you know, 5.50 or 6, um, 
that allows me to hike for about four hours in the cool cooler temperatures before it starts boiling and in four hours if I put my head down like I did today I can probably get 11 or 12 hours excuse me 11 or 12 miles um, in those four hours and that that would get me about halfway there and then I just gotta you know roast in the Sun for the the remaining four or so hours um, my plan once I get to Chama is I'll definitely take a zero I may take two and um, I have your questions um, like people ask me about gear um, people ask me about food and there's been a few other like specific questions either about gear or like some of the verbiage I use I think I, I say we um, and so I'll answer those questions when I get to Chama and I gotta shake out my gear because we're gonna be in Colorado and Colorado still has snow. So I'm gonna have to empty my pack, get rid of the stuff I no longer need. Um, like I, you're likely not gonna see me in the white shirt anymore. Um, Cause that's a sun shirt for the desert and I'll, I'll switch it out for Colorado to like my wind shirt or something else. So I'll get to Chum, I'll switch out my gear, get a rest. Um, doctor my feet a bit and uh, the last two days I've actually been all right with my feet with the new shoes and the the new um, insoles that I got in Cuba so uh, that's also why I was able to turn out about three miles per hour today because my feet are feeling better um, so I don't think there's any more details about the hike itself um, I think I'm I'll give a recap on New Mexico uh, once I finish, but um, I'm excited to get to Colorado. It's home. Um, most of the hike that we're gonna do, I want to say it's like 70% of the hike we're gonna do. I've, I'm familiar with the areas. I'm familiar with snow travel. Um, it'll just be, it'll be fun again to like hike through the backcountry of Colorado. I was able to do it not just on like day hikes or weekend hikes but um, hiking the Colorado Trail and I think it's about 100 miles of the Colorado Trail and it intersects um, with the CDT so it's the same trail so I will probably do a couple of offshoots um, and just go check out some places that I remember fondly from the Colorado Trail so it'll be it'll be good to get into a state where you don't have to pack four or five ish liters of water every day depending on how how far the water sources are um, it'll also be nice uh, not to bake as much in the sun um, it will be chilly in Colorado so you know there's that but uh, like the nights will be cold um, but essentially it'll be it'll be entirely different or mostly different from New Mexico so it'll be kind of like when you transition from Southern California to Central California in the Sierras, um, there's there's a pretty big uh, difference, um, especially in high snow years or average snow years. So this year I think was a little bit average of snow year for Colorado. It's melting out pretty fast. Um, the reports that we're getting from other hikers is that it's like the best conditions in 10 years. Like people are getting into the Sierra, uh, the uh, San Juan Mountains in Colorado, um, like the earliest that they've ever gotten to them and the conditions are the best they've seen um, there was one specific hiker who's hiked the CDT three this is his third time hiking it and he said this is the, the earliest and the best he's seen as well so he was kind of just echoing what everyone else said or maybe he led the charge and everyone echoed what he said um, so because I put the hammer down today um, and I wasn't expecting to hike that fast. Um, D, Mouse, and Marty are behind me uh, when I got to Cooper's. I don't know, like our on our map, when we put the map together, or uh, when, um, sorry, when D put the map together, he marked this place as, you know, the place to get water and camp the second night, but they may look at the mileage and the time of day and they could hike, they just could decide to hike a couple more miles down trail um, and do a stealth camp rather than coming here. So I may have lost them for a day. I'll, I'll catch up to them in Chama. 
Um, but I, I made the decision to come to Cooper's because I want to eat my afternoon snacks of today. I want to eat my dinner of today. I want to eat my breakfast of tomorrow. And that'll make my pack lighter. And I want to get my water right so I'm not getting into Chamo carrying two extra liters of water. Like I want to make sure that I'm as felt as possible. So um, that asphalt road walk doesn't eat my feet like it did with Grant's. Um, hiking into Grant's was miserable and it destroyed my feet and one of the issues on my in my right foot is it, that's from Grant's which was like hiking into Grant's was more than a week ago and I'm still dealing with it so I don't want to make that same mistake coming into Chama. Um, so I felt it was best just to cut it 24 miles get a nice afternoon off um, from hiking and then um, I'll do a little bit more miles tomorrow but hopefully with a, a lighter pack not hopefully I will because I'm just I'm gonna go eat um, today's shout out is to everyone who's been watching the videos and actually texting me and just checking in to see how I'm doing I know there's a lag with the videos um, so I think that's why people are texting just to see like hey you know the video six day lag how are, how are you really doing or where are you and that kind of stuff so shout out to you folks that are you know sending text messages checking in and um, just making sure that things are cool so I appreciate that so shout out to all you folks um, okay I think that's it for today everyone have a nice evening um, stay safe and uh, I hope you're making plans for the summer and to enjoy the summer um, because it's already it's already light enough at like 545 for us to be hiking without headlamps so those early mornings and, and late evenings um, are coming quickly in, in about a month at the end of June. So make your plans and um, I hope you all have a great summer. Talk to you soon.